Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I wanted to take a moment to go over some of the most recent news in the last few weeks and go over some of the things that you see in the headlines that make or put Unity in a bad light. And the ultimate question is, should you stick with Unity? And there's a really awesome thread by Will Goldstone, who's a product design lead at Unity, and he's been working there for over 11 years. And he goes into detail about all the different events, the things that are being worked on, and the improvements that should be made. And these are his own words, and he's very critical of the things that have gone on and the things that Unity themselves can improve on. That you can check out his thread, I'll leave the link in the description, but he's done a really superb job about quelling some of the issues that you'll see. And again, I'll be sticking with Unity because I do Unity and I've been using it since around 2014 and I followed some of the best people who started making YouTube tutorials back then but that doesn't mean to say that some of the decisions that the company have made and that the communication that's happened hasn't been the best and I feel as if they could make a positive spin by bringing out a, a core engine roadmap or some look at some projects that they're working on just to try and quell some of the issues that they've had but we'll go into it all today and you can give me your opinion down in the comments so will himself he does say that he's been working with unity for the last 11 years from support to education to project management and now product design and he loves his job anybody who's been doing something for so long must love it at least a little bit his opinions that he's going to mention are of his own and do not reflect everything from the company and he doesn't personally agree with all the decisions that the company have made and when he joined in 2011 he was employee 102 and he was involved in a lot of the decisions but nowadays they have around 7,000 different employees so it's just less realistic to get that feedback involved and he goes on to say that he has got relationships with people on every single level of unity and he is often in discussion about things that are supposed to happen in the future and he hopes to represent all of you in some of these things when he does bring things into perspective and he does personally go on to say that he does believe that there's been some great things that have happened at unity but also there's been some certain missteps but he's going to take this time that i'm going to tell you to acknowledge the specific missteps that have happened and he said with the launch of the scriptable render pipelines that it wasn't good enough they didn't have the resource teams involved to adequately focus on delivering the right mix of tools and tech and this led to a lot of loss of faith and we created a lot of problems to work around and for that he's personally sorry because it does suck for everybody involved they added package management to unity without product discipline for how they would ship features in that way which led to a loss of trust in their ability to ship quality and focus on the right things it believes that the whole system is in a better place now but added a lot of stress to everybody who tried to use it. Will feels like it was a bit premature to announce and promote dots and it was a failure to communicate adequately. This did compound the uncertainty and he again apologizes for that and there's been several learning and breaking of the iterations but he's now seeing games that are shipping and released with that tech which is awesome to see. And he said in late 2019 we also ramped up and built a product design community internally and it's a group that's now part of having Having a real impact of the user experience and he said he hopes that you start feeling the effects of this in many parts that you see day to day in the coming years as you can see in the editor and beyond that the user experience has changed a bit and it's looked a lot nicer and cleaner and up with modern standards so will is hopeful that you'll start seeing some of the fruits of the updates that they've historically needed to improve within Unity. Things like input, build systems, multiplayer, collaboration, thanks to Plastic with their new integration. And all of this is getting more love with the strong teams behind them. He wanted to mention specifically about communication and there's such broad teams at Unity with a ton of different backgrounds. Some of the times that they speak with their marketing voice, which it feels like they're selling a product, which doesn't feel authentic in many different ways. He said that the reaction that the community feels is often warranted. He said that feedback that we aren't listening or listening properly and combined with some of the missteps leads to an understandable mistrust and is also compounded by an assumption that I see from the public company 
is suddenly an evil entity. In reality, that Unity is a group of 7,000 people and the other labels which don't feel that we create useful discourse. We need to be clear and concise in the discourse with the public and everybody uses it. And it's something we're actively talking about a lot and we want to improve internally. He wanted to talk about the layoffs, which obviously is no good and it's not good when anybody loses their job in any company but it was the first time in unity's history that's why it made it more shocking and he said these tweets are of course his personal opinion but he doesn't know everybody who got laid off and he didn't fully agree with everybody he knows about and he said in the press that you see the 263 people that got laid off and lost their jobs but over half of those did thankfully find a place in unity when it restructured and of course you can see this in the interview that john riccatello did and he talks about the same thing now that doesn't still mean that it's unfortunate for the other half of the people who didn't but hopefully they can find something because I'm sure they're ultimately talented developers in their own right. And Will went on to say that the optics for this for people from the outside like us, that it's like Unity don't care about development or improving Unity specifically. And he said the reality is a lot of people are working with studios and working to create projects internally with Unity. And Gagaya, the project that was cancelled, was simply the newest and most well known of the projects that they're working on. And Will wanted to personally say, does he think that they should have kept the team and adjusted what they were focusing on? And he says, absolutely. And when Unity created the Learn team in 2012, he said, that's all we did. He said, we built things, critiqued the editor, made tutorials, and this was critical for the success in hoping to hire more developers. And next he wanted to touch on Iron Source and the negativity that was around this and around the engine and the editor. And he said it felt extra jarring because the latest news came soon after the layoff, which feels off and you didn't give it any time to breathe. The reality is business wise, our service is a part of the specific revenue and bolstering this is really important, especially in an economic downturn for the tech industry. And it's not all about the company though, the tech will remain a lot of opportunity for many people of you too. And I wanted to quickly mention that as many articles that you'll see that Unity merged with a malware company. But like I mentioned in my video about this specific topic, it's that the company who they merged with, IronSource, did drop the malware specific installer which had been used to inject the malware which was unfortunate for them all the way back in 2012 when they merged with another mobile ads company. There's no grounds that Unity will become um, a sort of malware ridden installer or anything like that. That is fully in the past and Will did say that if you're not looking to leverage the Unity games with service, perhaps you don't really care about it and that's fair enough because the announcement doesn't really speak with you. You're really waiting for news that you want to hear about you're obviously going to feel left out. He wanted to caution people here of falling into the trap that assuming because they didn't announce anything regarding what you wanted to hear about, it doesn't mean that we've neglected or didn't care about the specific feature. He said, we need more balance in our communications and way more open and direct about the core engine work we're actually doing. And then he wanted to move on to the next comments by the Unity CEO, John Riccatello, and he said that he was gutted and gave him the feedback that he was shocked and angry at the words that he used. And he said that so was he. And he said he doubts people that will know because they only know him about a meme or a cartoon. And really he did feel generally bad and embarrassed by the words that he'd chosen to speak. He said the frustrating part for teams involved in this is the poor communication overshadowed the work that they're doing, which is solving the challenge of playtesting and learning from players. And that's the exciting work that Unity are working on to be able to look forward to in the future. He said in summary, we have an awful lot of work to do and there is awareness of this not only on an individual level, but in leadership too, and we're working some of the biggest challenges in planning and communication, and we're also listening to trying to find ways to take that action. So I think, like I said at the very beginning, when it comes to deciding whether you stick with Unity, a lot of the things that you see in the headlines and a lot of the misdemeanors, as I said, it doesn't mean that certain actions that have been taken are not bad. Nobody wants to see people lose jobs. Nobody wants bad headlines of malware here, there and everywhere. Nobody wants to see a cancelled project and things could have been handled better without a shadow of a doubt, as Will says himself. There's certain things which have a slightly more positive 
vibe to them as will have been in the team for a long time it can still see improvements there if unity posted something more positive about you know the core engine changes which they're looking to bring out in the future whether that was a roadmap it could really quell the, the misery around the current situation but we'll see what happens in the future and be sure to give your opinion down below on what you think about it too because i always love to read and comment on what you guys are saying so be sure to check out my patreon to get access to over 150 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else do check out my great assets on the unity asset store and on my website big savings and i want to say a big thank you to all my patrons including peter steiner raheem whittaker gene pommy manos Vericas, terence conrad gage linston walter dunson joseph newman Rene leisure darren m Toffer Chambers, Ishtak Zimani, Gary McGee, Christian Salent, Skaya Skaya, Benjamin Shankel, HK, Amanda Tatami, Alex Shem, William M, Jiraiya Sensei, Krishna Kalili, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getterjank, LeBrons, Eric Thompson, and Stephen Mormon. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.